and in Sandy Hook conspiracy theorists leading the investigation. We are calling on John Hanlon not only to be replaced as the lead investigator, but also to be immediately removed as sheriff, Gross told reporters. As sheriff, he has shown he has no qualms about putting his ideology over his responsibility to protect his citizens, Gross added. For all intents and purposes, Gross has revealed the true scope of the smoldering liberal arrogance boiling over into ill-fated yet interesting times. Make no mistake, Trayvon Martin is no longer with us because George Zimmerman had a gun. 88.8% of Americans own guns. These law-abiding citizens need only review the recent gun-grabbing policies of Australia and Canada to grasp the giant con President Obama is quarterbacking. The Crown seemed to have an agenda to make an example of me that would put the fear into every firearms owner in Canada that you are not allowed to defend your life. As the United Nations poises to bypass our sovereignty and constitution with its arms trade treaty that entered into force on December 24th, 2014, a common date legislators and backstabbing presidents utilize to attack the rights of the free people of the United States. The result, a globalist puppet president that pushes gun control before mass shooting victims' bodies are even cold or identified. No, Obama, you can't have our guns. Americans are locked and loaded as we should be as a result of witnessing the daily violent erosion of communities like Chicago fall into total bedlam due to the current administration's policies. Americans are fully aware now of a real and constant threat to our rights as human beings to defend ourselves if need be and to not be duped in repeating recent history marred by gun-grabbing totalitarians. No, President Obama, you are not welcome in Roseburg, Oregon. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, in what might be a blow to the mandatory vaccines that seem to be heading our way nationwide, the Supreme Court has refused to hear a case challenging the state of New York's public school vaccination requirement, which also requires all children to be vaccinated prior to attendance at public school. Uh, this effectively is stating that mandatory vaccination of public school children doesn't violate their constitutional rights. So there you go. Now I'm gonna be speaking with Jeffrey Jackson uh, after the break, and we're gonna break down how it's about time for parents to engage in a little civil disobedience. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car I'll run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Joining me now is InfoWars DC correspondent Wayne Madsen of the WayneMadsenReport.com. Now, Wayne, welcome to the show. I wanted to get you on to talk about this bombshell article that you've got uh, involving the real scandal with Hillary Clinton. It's not just her private email server, but what was actually going on uh, around that email server. Um, you're saying that evidence shows Clinton was running a parallel outsourced State Department answerable only to her. Talk to me about this. Well, yes. When, <clears throat> you know, when this story first broke, I, I was wondering why in the world uh, did Mrs. Clinton not uh, just say, look, as the original classification authority uh, for uh, email, I determined this stuff was unclassified. As Secretary of State, she certainly had the authority to declassify uh, these emails, uh, you know, before the fact. Say so anything I use on my own per, uh, private server is automatically declassified. I worked in the State Department uh, Information System Security Branch and the Bureau of Diplomatic Security, and that would make sense. However, it dawned on me when I'm reading uh, about what she was using this system for and who she was communicating with, officials of the Clinton Foundation, her, her husband and her daughter's private nonprofit foundation that's worth you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, and uh, a, a, an outfit called Tenio, which is a private consulting firm and investment company based in New York, uh, partly set up by a guy named Doug Band, who's the former uh, uh, close aide of Bill Clinton. And it, it's quite clear that what she was using this private email system for, and the server was located in Chappaqua, New York, uh, not even in, in, in her own home in, in D.C., uh, it, it was quite clear that this was being used uh, for off-the-books um, operations involving her own uh, uh, use of the State Department to further her husband's um, personal gain. That's the classic example of racketeering there, uh, soliciting the donations from foreign sources there, utilizing her position there as the secretary 
Um, so talk to me a little bit about Tenio. Get into that. You're saying that Tenio is um, kind of a CIA-like group where they are actually planting some statements in the media, uh, offering statements to the media designed to heighten tensions there between NATO and Turkey. Uh, give us a little more information on Tenio. Well, it's, it's a very connected organization. They have as a member of their board of advisors, Bill Clinton, Tony Blair, and you have uh, officials of Tenio offering up all kinds of commentary on how bad Vladimir Putin is and how he's endangering the peace in the Middle East as if there has been any peace <laughs> in that part of the world. No, it's not the billions of dollars in arms that we're contracting yeah. with them. So, um, so you've got an organization where you got a lot of people involved. They've got offices in London. Um, then you've got the Clinton Foundation. You know, you look at insider uh, deals and, and you use the word racketeering. Obviously, when you got Bill Clinton, who's the head of the Clinton Foundation, hiring Tenio as one of their uh, uh, um, um, clients and he at the same time he's serving as a, a a member of the advisory board of Tenio I mean that is classic insider racketeering so he's giving contracts from his nonprofit uh Clinton Foundation to Tenio which is for profit and he's serving as the head of the nonprofit but he's um, a member of the board of advisors for the uh profit making company uh, we know that Hillary was using her position as Secretary of State to basically uh, 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 shake down uh, foreign governments and foreign business leaders uh, for donations to the Clinton Foundation. And they've really done nothing when you look at, you know, what have they done for people? They were supposed to rebuild homes for the people in Haiti, that country that was devastated a few years ago by the earthquake. They're, they're, there's still people living in lean-tos and under plastic tarps mm -hmm. in Port-au-Prince and outside of Port-au-Prince. So, I, I, you know, we, you got you got one guy alone, a Canadian mining magnate named Frank Justra, who, who specializes in mining uranium. Uh, he gave the Clinton Foundation $31 million, and in return, Clinton goes over to Kazakhstan to lobby for this, this Canadian a tycoon to get mining rights uh, to mine uranium in Kazakhstan. Um, it, it's clear. It's clear what's going on here with the the private uh, server. It was basically setting up. Oh, that the other thing I should have mentioned is Huma Abedin, right. who is of course married to um, uh, Anthony Weiner, the former New York congressman who um, um, basically distinguished himself as Carlos Danger online with his sexting messages to, <laughs> to women he didn't even know in many cases. Huma Abedin was being paid as a government employee by Hillary Clinton as a member of her State Department staff. At the same time, she's being paid as a consultant by Tenio, this private company that features very prominently in many of the Hillary Clinton emails. So it's quite clear that Huma Abedin was the uh, go-between between the official U.S. foreign policy apparatus, i.e. the State Department, and Tenio, which is the off-the-books, off-the-shelf uh, private U.S. foreign policy apparatus involving Hillary, Bill, uh, Chelsea clinton Mesvinsky, who's also uh, a member of the uh, board of directors of the Clinton Foundation, Huma Abedin, and, you know, and then you get George Soros involved with the, he gives money to the the Clinton Foundation. He's tied in closely with some of the people involved with Tenio. It's a nice little uh, racket and uh, used to be in this country when the um, Justice Department would actually at least investigate uh, racketeering. And here we have a pretty a, a clear cut example of it. So do you think that the wiping of Mrs. Clinton's emails was just innocent? Or do you think this is the classic case of an intelligence operation? The destruction of evidence. Well, like I said, if Hillary Clinton had just come out and said, "Yeah, okay, I did have this for my convenience, but I had I had used my authority to declassify it," it, it probably would have been over. But at, like as with Watergate and all these other scandals, the cover up is worse than the original infraction or or uh, misdemeanor or crime, if you will. So 
<laughs> yeah, she she wipes the um, the 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 uh, uh, hard disk clean or orders it done. She doesn't obviously know much about uh, computers, and she's pretty much said that. And now we find out that uh, the backup company um, called Datto uh, stored the 